Hey guys, your boy Hellraiser here, coming to you from Boquete, Panama. So what are we doing today? Well, we're going to look at box and woofer location, and does that affect SPL? We're going to try it in my car and see what happens. So, as always, we're using the Scandal 12-inch subwoofers. They're rated at 1500 watts RMS. We're using our Soundstream BXA 17500D. It's running at a little under 1 ohm putting out about 1600 watts so each of these speakers are getting 800 watts so let's hop in and see what happens with them facing backwards okay get everything started get it all fired up stock sound system except for the subs we have our trusty ESS meter SPL meter professional meter we're gonna run it with our app here All right. and we're gonna play our song There we go. That's our peak. 142.6 decibels. So let me go swap the box around and then we'll do another test. Okay, so as you can see, all I've done is face it up. So now the speakers are facing up towards the roof. Same exact setup, same watts, same everything. So now let's see what she does. Start her up. Same meter. We'll reset our test. And there you go, 140.19. So what did we learn? Well, apparently in my car, the Toyota Fortuner, my speakers like to face backwards because I got two decibel more on the SPL meter with them facing backwards as opposed to them facing up. And that makes sense because in cars, you have a certain distance that the, the base waves like to go. And in my car, apparently, facing backwards gives it just the right distance. Whereas facing up maybe shortens the distance a little bit or even causes a little bit of a frequency um, bump. Because you notice that the frequency changed a little bit. Facing backwards, it seemed to peak around 45 hertz. While facing up, it peaked around 43 hertz. So a slight difference there. So that has something to do with it. But unfortunately, this presents me with a little bit of a quandary because my plan is to get four 12s and the box that I was going to have designed is going to face up with the port in the middle facing up. So now I got to figure out if that's still going to be a good idea or if I should try to find some way to face them backwards. But uh, let me know. What do you guys think? In your comments below, tell me what would you do? Would you just go with the four facing up and just lose a decibel or two or try to ha find a way to face them backwards? 
Uh, well, let me know. Well, if you like my videos, please subscribe, hit the like button. Also, let me know what would you like me to do in the future or what would you like to see me do different in my videos. Thanks for watching. This is your boy Hellraiser. I'm out of here.